Hey, hey, everybody. It is Monday, the 26th of July. I'm Mike Stiles. This is Hall of Fame Baseball Cards in Monrovia, California, and we are ripping with styles. We've got uh, lots of product available today. We've got one person already in the lineup. We'll get that going. It's hockey, so please forgive me when I butcher the names, but uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Make sure that Mike Wang is actually online before I break that stuff open. So let's go over some of the ground rules. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Um, Olympics have started, so been watching a fair amount of that. Um, baseball is getting back into the swing of things. Otani's hit another home run finally. Uh, Vlad and Tatis both got one after a little bit. Hey, Ashton, how you doing? Mr. Dogo, you are the first to comment. That is correct. Um, so let's go over the brown, ground rules while we sit and wait for a moment. Um, what I like to do is take a look at the big screen over here. See where we are. All right, six. There are six of you. Bubble Pug, how are you doing? Still basking in the glow of your big win, I take it. Although the 2021-2022 season started the day afterwards, but you can still bask in that glow for quite a while. Um, congratulations again. So, you guys know the drill. HOFBC.com is the website. Under store, click on personal breaks. And anything you find in there that tickles your fancy, purchase that. We rip it. We ship it. Um, and the shipping is free. And you get 5% back in your team rewards as long as you are signed up for that. Constantly selling that aspect of what we do here because that really is a good deal. You're getting 5% back on everything. It basically covers half your tax. Um, and then our prices are low enough that compared to other people, you're, all of your tax is covered. And then we do the shipping for you absolutely gratis. So um, what do we have in terms of our discount codes today? Those are right there. With the following codes, you'll get discounts. Gypsy gets you $10 off Gypsy Queen. Museum gets you $25 off Museum Baseball. Archives gets you $10 off Archives Baseball. Luminance, $25 off Luminance Football. Icons, $300 off the Diamond Icons. Would love, love, love to see somebody get into some Diamond Icons. Haven't seen it yet, but I hope that it happens sooner rather than later. Um... We've also got that break up there, but let me finish. UEFA Finest, that's UEFA Finest Soccer, $25 off with the discount code UEFA Finest. It hurts my ears when I hear other people say UEFA. I understand it, but it still hurts. New items, as always, are over there. And uh, other than Allen and Ginter, which keeps getting kicked back, 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 and back, these items are new in the sense that they were recently released, but not new in the sense that we have not had them available to you for some time now. Clearly Authentic is the most recent. Take a look at that. There's been a nice price drop on Clearly Authentic. Um, so consider jumping in on some of that. We have some breaks still up on our page. There is the half case break of Topps Gypsy Queen. Look at the new price on that. $27.99 gets you into a half case break of Gypsy Queen. Um, and that, that is an unbeatable price. I would say sweet. jump in on that. Um, we pulled some pretty nice cards. You probably can get some nice cards there too at, at a fantastic price point. We still have the mixer going for basketball, our finals edition. Three different boxes, Panini Hoops, Panini Donruss, and the Panini Revolution. Um, that will break when we get that filled. We have nine spots filled 21 to go we're going to start picking up the pace on that i hope as always or at least as always for recent times we have the wonderful wheel the wheel of wonder i like to call it that is the wheel spin we do still have the basketball mixer up there um, your chase is still the archives signature series retired player edition um, we've pulled a couple of those during the wheel spins at least while i've been on Select Baseball is on there. 2021 Select Baseball, two packs of Select Baseball. Chipsy Queen, four packs, two packs of UEFA Finest. 
four packs of Stadium Club Baseball, three packs of Bowman. That's the Bowman um, hobby, not the jumbo. Three packs of Bowman. We got five packs of Heritage, two packs of Series 2 Jumbo, and two packs of Finest Baseball together with the mix we talked about. Uh, I keep saying two packs. I am wrong. It is a, let me go back and say all that. Times two means that we've got it on the wheel more than once. So it's a select baseball, one pack of select baseball, but it's on the wheel twice. Gypsy Queen is on the wheel, but let's take a look at what the wheel says. Follow me, follow me, follow me to the wheel. So it is four packs of Stadium Club. It is four packs of Gypsy Queen. It is five packs of Heritage. Um, so I wasn't really that far off. It is two packs of Top Series 2 Jumbo. So color me excited I was right, I wasn't wrong. Okay, so scratch the scratching, and we're back to what I had said earlier. Um, so there's always that wheel spin. Uh, we have lots of product in the store. Football season starting to roll around. We have some nice football product available for you. Um, we still have baseball. Clearly, Don, Donruss, clearly basketball. Um, I'd like to look at that. That seems to be a pretty hot product with some nice cards in there. Um, so whatever tickles your fancy, let's get going. Um, Mike Wang, are you here? I'm waiting to see if you are in the chat because I want to open your box of the 2020 2021 Upper Deck Hockey Series Dose, Series 2. But until you get here, I know you're in line. We won't go. Uh, hey, Gypsy Queen, we're posting the codes now in the chat, so you've got it all there, including links to get you where you want to go. Um... So, Bubble Pug, to answer uh, your question, I am I'm doing quite well. It was, you know, I got to watch the U.S. play uh, Jamaica and soccer last night. It was trying. It was ugly, ugly soccer, but they did win. So, it's off to play Qatar in the CONCACAF Gold Cup. I'm not quite sure when Qatar, Qatar moved into our hemisphere, but apparently it has. And so, and they've made it into the semifinals, so they'll be playing the U.S. and Canada will be playing Mexico, and then we'll see who's going to face off in the Gold Cup gold medal match. I've uh, been watching a lot of Olympics, including badminton, as you may know. I'm a big fan of badminton. I coach it. And so I've been watching that on the Olympics. We actually have a medalist hopeful in Beiwen Zhang. Um, I've been watching some of the other Olympics, as well. Um, I still don't understand why skateboarding is an Olympic sport now, but I've actually watched some of it. Um, and, and pretty much they're going to have to start scheduling nap breaks in the middle of the skateboard competitions if we're going to continue to have 8, 9, 10, 11, 13 year olds competing in that event. Um, so, you know, I want to get ripping. Um, I'm going to wait a minute or two more to see if Mike Wang is going to join us so that I can rip his hockey. Um, but if he does not join us, uh, we will move on to something else once we get something else in line. Got two well, wheel spins coming up for you. Oh, we got two wheel spins coming up. Oh, and it looks like this screen has changed. Let's spin. Oh. I don't know where the other one was, where we were tracking what was going on. All right. We have got two wheel spins. We're going to start with Albert's. You got another one. I got two wheel spins coming up here for Albert. We're going to get that going right now. Albert, you with us? Follow me, follow me, follow me, if you will, to the Wheel of Wonder. First of two wheel spins for Albert. Remember, it lands where it lands. Even if it clicks back once or twice, the, wherever it ends up is where it ends up. Albert's first spin. Heritage, 2021 Heritage, five packs. You roll over this way. And then half 
case is now down to one, two, three, four, twenty-six bucks. Five. All right, five packs of Heritage. This is the first of two wheel spins for Albert. Let's see what we can get. On deck with two wheel spins, Matthew B. Uh -huh. Mike Wazowski. It's a good day when I get to start out the break by saying Mike Wazowski. Favorite. Yastrzemski in action. Kenta Maeda. National League pitching leaders, Hugh Darvis, Zach Davies, and Max Freed. Brandon Workman, Josh Haderader, Maurizio Dubon, Dwight Smith Jr., Tyler Molle, and Trevor May Twins. It threw me a little bit. I thought maybe it was a short print, but I was wrong. On to pack number two of our first break of the day. Tatis. Two home runs secure NL postseason. Danny Duffy, Max Scherzer, Pablo Lopez, Max Kepler. We got a rookie stars for the Mets, Andres Jimenez and David Peterson. There's Vladdy, not looking nearly as felt as he does now. Juan Soto and Max Fried to finish out this pack. I'm not familiar with any of these that may constitute short prints, but I know that they typically write it on the back. So I was going to give it a look-see and see if there's anything up. Pack number three, Albert. Trey Turner leads us off. Miguel Castro. Tim Anderson in action. So was that ball put in play or not? Seems like he's swinging at a... A pitch high in the strike zone. So I'm going to guess that it got by him. Justin Dunn. Rookie stars for the White Sox. Birdeye, Dunning, and Matt Foster. And we have a relic. Colton Wong, gang used memorabilia. So if I'm not mistaken, it's one per box. One hit per box of this. And you've got the hit. Colton nice. Wong, game used relic. Freddie Galvez and Clayton Kershaw finish that up. When Matt redo maths, he gets a bonus pack. Okay. Of that one. Okay. He knows that. Brandon Lau in action. He really wasn't in action during the Super uh, during the World Series. Kyle Schwarber, Miles Straw, Joey Bart, Kyle Seeger. Flashback 1972 Winter Games kickoff in Japan. David Peralta, Ty Buttry, and Jason Kipnis. One more pack to go on your first of two wheel spins. Where were you when you met Bubble Pug, Bubble Pug when you met Colton? Nolan Arenado in action, Jurickson in Profar. Boyhood photos of the stars. Is Hazel Cesardo a star yet? Bobichette. Mike Trout, definitely a star, and he's in action. Gene Segura. Home run leaders in the NL, and I'm not going to read off all those names. Brandon Crawford. Dangerously close to a mullet. And Jesus Lazardo. That finishes off your first of two spins. Got a nice hit there on the Colton Wong game used relic. All right, Albert, off we go again to spin number two. Follow me, follow me, follow me, please, to the wheel of wonder, and away we go. UEFA finest two pack. Two packs of UEFA Finest. Move that out of the way. Let me find our UEFA Finest thing here. And here we go. Two packs of UEFA Finest. You are up. And here we go, Mike Wang. If you are in the chat, let me know. 
Because once you join, we will move to your box. But I'm going to wait till you get here. UEFA finest pack number one for Albert. Here we go. Neymar. Got a rookie of Marley Ake. Dominic Sabozlai. Kai Havertz. And last card in the pack is a Callum Hudson Adoy Refractor. So not a great pack, but it definitely could have been worse. I could have been worse. Pack number two. Pedri rookie. There is the rookie you were looking for. I believe we're looking for Pedri. He Chan Huang. Dodo, rookie card. Virgil, nope, not Virgil. Tiago Alcantara. And a prized footballer's Killiam Mbappe. It would be really nice if in a year I'm seeing this guy send passes through to this guy on Liverpool. Those were your two packs. Albert, I hope you enjoy those. I'm not sure that they're all going to fit in this bag you've given me. Nope. We pack these up and then we got... Matt B on deck with a couple of wheel spins. But give me one moment to package up Albert's wheel spin winnings. Slide these. All right. Matt B, you're with us and you're ready to go. We got two wheel spins. Follow me, follow me, follow me to the Wheel of Wonder for the first of two spins for Matt B. And away we go. Twenty twenty one series two jumbo times two. Two series two jumbos right there for Matt B. We're going to need a bigger bag again. <laughs> Series two jumbo, so there's no way they're gonna fit in that bag. Not gonna happen. We'll t let you take a look at the the base, the paper base. Well, we'll start here. You can take a look at Hunter Dozier before we get to the good stuff. Kurt Suzuki gold. We got a number to four ninety nine. You Darvish in the green, whatever they're calling this crazy thing. David Wright, Max Muncy, J.P. Crawford, and I think we are now through the good stuff. Let's see if there's anybody here to write home about. Not even going to bother. <laughs> so let me, you uh, Darvish, number to 499. A little Kurt Suzuki gold. When you get a chance, could you get me some more penny sleeves? Regular penny sleeves, please. <laughs> hey, Colton Wong could be quite a singer. You never know. At least there wasn't an E in there. It wasn't a public singeing. Matt B., this is also a pack for you. Um, so we are going to break this Gypsy Queen pack for you in between your two spins. Boy, I guess it is common to all of those packs. It just doesn't want to open. Here we go. Gypsy Queen pack for you, Matt B. 
Abreu rookie, Marshawn rookie, Matt Olson, J.D. Martinez, Andrew McCutcheon. We have a name team name variation of Albert Abreu for the Yankees. Pavin Smith rookie and a Willie Adamas rookie. I'm going to guess no bazooka, but we took a look and it's no longer a guess. But you got a nice name, team name variation. So now it's time for wheel spin number two for Matt. Follow me, please, to the Wheel of Wonder. And here we go. Top's Finest Baseball times two, which we'll get to when my old brain remembers that you had two packs of these and the second one was just sitting here waiting for me to rip, screaming at me, saying, open me too. So here is your second pack of Series 2, Jumbo. Let's jump to the good stuff. We'll start here with, <laughs> I say good stuff, but then we start with a team card Rainbow of the Astros. Exit Velocity, Pete Alonzo. Joe Maurer, All-Star. Upton, so I think we are already, there were three cards in here worth looking at. And a series of rookie cards. Shane McClanahan, Hyung Sung Kim, Johan Ramirez, Lewin Diaz, Jonathan Arias, and that's the end of our rookie look. So that second pack, it wanted to stay up there for a reason. But you did get, if the Astros are your fancy, you did get a rainbow team card of the Astros. And now we get to your two, just to refresh our recollection, two packs of finest baseball. One and two. And let's see what we can do for you. Starting off with the Jesus Sanchez rookie. There's a nice Mike Trout. What do we have turned around and backwards this way? Juan Soto, numbered to 199. Nice, nice Juan Soto card for you. And Trout in the same pack. Jose Abreu. And Shohei Otani. Trout, Otani, and Soto all in the same pack. So, take a look at that Soto again. It's 51 out of 199. Second of two Tops Finest packs for you, Matt. Leading this one off with Pete Alonzo, Braylon Marquez, Tori Hunter, Finest Masters, Javi Baez, and finishing this off with Kyle Lewis. So that was, particularly in comparison to the last one, what I might characterize as a rather pedestrian pack. But hey, you did get Trout, Otani, and a refractor of Soto. And Stephen, you took the bag away. Oh, you put it there. It is. That's all I needed to see. So that was it for Matt B. Thank you very much for the purchase. We do appreciate it. All right. We got anybody else in the lineup right now? Let me take a look. See, we do. We do. Tim A is in. And Mike Wang, have you joined the stream yet? I am waiting for you to be live. We're all waiting for you. In fact, I'm going to text him while we're waiting. This is You're me texting all him. all waiting for him. Oh, boy. This is me texting him, joining the stream. This is that dreaded dead air they talk about. Dead air. But not dead anymore. I'm back. Uh, these fingers make it a little difficult to text the way you crazy kids can text. Um, 
And as several of my players lament, I text in full sentences. So I, I can't do all the LOLs and JKs and all that stuff. And, and I actually use punctuation and capital letters. And it drives some people nuts, but it is what I do. One wheel spin two. Tim A, you are here. Would you like the wheel spin first, or do you want to bust into this 2020 Illusions football first? I have an idea. We're going to spin the wheel first. Illusion. All right. Tim, um, I am going to go ahead and wheel spin for you first. And then we're going to bust your, your box. Follow me, follow me, follow me to the Wheel of Wonder. Tim M, away we go. Yep, and we're at 2021 UEFA Finest 2-Pack. Come on, there we go. Two packs of UEFA Finest to start Tim off before we snap into this Illusions 2020 football that I'm excited to rip into. Starting with Devin Wrench, rookie card. Rodrigo. Romelu Lukaku. Sadio Mane. And an Erling Holland Refractor. That's not a bad card to have at all. I do not collect soccer just because I'm trying to save my meager bank account. But if I did, Holland would be one of the chase cards. <laughs> Haven't butchered the names yet, but it'll happen, Herman. This is pack number two of the top's finest, the UEFA, UEFA finest for Tim before we get into his box of illusions. Marcelo leads us off. Zhao Felix. Rainier Jesus. Brandon Williams, rookie. And a Chris Richards, numbered 36 out of 125. Those are your two packs of finest UEFA. 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 It's not UEFA. UEFA. It's not UEFA. UEFA. All right, Tim, here we go. We are going to bust now into this 2020 box of Illusions Football. UEFA. Three autos, including an encased auto with the dreaded on average. Hopefully this is on average in the same way we were on average in the Gypsy Queen break when what we ended up with was more than that. All right, let's get into these first and we'll save the encased for last. Put them on each side of the encased. That way, and off we go. Starting with a rookie, J.K. Dobbins. Rookie, Chase Claypool. Shining Stars on the acetate, George Kittle. Taysom Hill. And Ezekiel Elliott. So not a bad start. Patrick, don't call me Patty Mahomes. Will Fuller, numbered 362, excuse me, 382 out of 399. James Morgan Mystique, 
I'm not quite sure what's so mystique about James Morgan, but okay. Russell Wilson and Christian McCaffrey. These really are some nice looking cards. I do enjoy them. We've got something thicker in this one. Joshua Kelly. Be autoed, be autoed. Not autoed, but look at that. Three color patch, four color. One, two, three, four color patch. Jalen Hurts, 12 of 25. Jalen Hurts, 12 of 25. I would call that hit number one out of this box. James Morgan Mystique, again. Alvin Kamara and Drew Locke. DeAndre Swift, rookie. Jake Fromm, rookie, rookie three... 96 out of 499. Clear shots, Lamar Jackson. James Conner and Dalvin Cook to round out that pack. Zach Moss starts off this pack. Marvin Jones Jr. We're going to, let me, let me get this here. Well, let's do it this way. Von Miller. Look at that numbered 5 of 50 Jerry Rice clear shots. 5 nice. of 50. Very nice. Oh, Jerry Rice. And we have a redemption. It is football, so we're starting off right way. Panini Illusions. First Impressions Autograph Memorabilia. Black, card 111. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. First Impression Auto. So this is an RPA. Black, not sure what those are numbered to, but this is a solid, solid card. I'm not going to actually waste the time to put it in a sleeve, but... That is another hit out of this product. Sometimes in shipping, I think it's scratched on certain cards. I don't know how that works. It seems okay for now. Some We're halfway them, through. Some of them rub off. Yeah, that's, Tim, that's a real nice um, relic card to get. It's going to be very inter interesting to see how he plays this year, now that the job is his. Antoine Gandhi Golden. Jimmy Garoppolo, 118 out of 399. Tyreek Hill on the Shining Stars Acetate. For comparison purposes, Jimmy Garoppolo regular issue. And Deshaun Watson, who I have just heard is actually on the trading block. The Texans will move him now. I wonder why. Wonder why they're considering moving him now. Best, better question is, who's going to take him? Michael Pittman, rookie. We got another relic here. LaVishka Chenault on the big patch. So let's go ahead and sleeve that one up. Yeah. Saquon Barkley clear shots. And wouldn't you know, the minute I say that, it actually went fuzzy. Saquon Barkley regular card. He sent, he sent some photos of and Kirk Cousins. All right, cool. All right, three more packs in this illusions before we get to our encased. Devin Duvernay, rookie. Lavishka Chenault, rookie, numbered 47 out of 499. DeAndre Swift, Astounding Lions. 
A.J. Brown, and Leonard Fournette. There you go. Nice Jordan Love rookie. There's an auto numbered 16 out of 60 for the Patriots, Kyle Duggar. It looks a little thicker than the standard, so let's just put it in here. Dak Prescott on the Shining Stars Acetate. Todd Gurley and J.J. Watt. I understand Todd Gurley is unsigned. Right now he's a free agent. You wonder with what happened with Cam Akers, whether he'd consider re-signing with the Rams or whether the Rams, whether that bridge has burned. Brandon Ayuk, rookie. DeAndre Hopkins, numbered 68 out of 199. Troy Palomalu, Living Legends. There's a small chance that he was across the street about a half an hour ago getting boba, but we're not quite sure. All we could see was the hair. Julian Edelman and Daniel Jones to round out the regular packs and the illusions. Let's take a quick look at our hits. Kyle Duggar, 16 out of 50. Lavishka Chenault on the patch. A Clyde Edwards Hilaire RPA. Jerry Rice. Clear shots acetate out of 50. And this Jalen Hurts four color patch 12 of 25. And now let's take a look at what we've got in the encased. And wouldn't you know it's going to fight me. There you're encased. Joey Bosa, 25 out of 35. Joey Bosa. Right team, unfortunately not the card we were probably looking for. Uh, but it's hard to find a more solid defensive player. But there it is, Joey Bosa on your encased. Tame, thank you very much. We will get these out of you. First impressions, auto, black to 50. Out of them? Yes, that's the Clyde Edwards Hilaire. No, not a terrible box at all. Not a terrible box at all. I'm going to give these to you. Do you mind? Because they're not going to fit in that box, and I don't want to. Yeah, oh. Yeah, I'm going to do All right, Timmy, I hope you're happy with that. I certainly was... Good time ripping that, taking a look at the Hertz and the Edward Hilaire. So they're there. And I have heard from Mike Wang. He's not going to be able to join us for a moment. Although, what do we have here? Is this a couple of spins? No. They're not anything. Oh, there's two in this list. So Robert just got, got in right now. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do, I am going to actually bust open Mike Wang's Series 2 2021 Upper Deck Hockey. And then we'll get back to whatever we've got in line. So we're looking for rookie materials. Low numbered patch parallels. Iconic rookie cards, six of them in every box. Does not say auto on the box. So I'm guessing auto, there may be one, but it looks like what we're really chasing out of this right now will be uh, relics.
Hi, Rudy. Sorry, I'm Kyle Duggan. Mr. Rudy. Yeah, who has it? All right, Lang, here we go. When you come back to this, hopefully we hit something good for you. You're going to have to tell me later because I really don't know. Anybody knows hockey, just let us know if we get something. Cool. Patrick Marlowe, Anders Bjork, a William Carlson UD canvas, Carter Roney, Damon Severson, and Brent Burns. Nada. It said nada. I heard nada from Stephen. So I'll take his word for it. Looking for young gun. Looking for Stutzel. And you're looking for Young Guns Stutzel. Krill Caprasov. Krill Caprasov. Thomas Shabbat or Chabot. Antoine Roussel. Sean Monahan. We've got a Nick Schmaltz on the UD canvas. Schmaltz. Marcus Peterson, not the defensive back for the Rams and the Ravens. Leon. Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl, there you go. And Justin Hull. So far, not finding the, the big ones, but it only takes one pack. Well, with uh, hockey, uh, the young guns are inserts. So all your rookie cards are inserts. Oh, all the rookies are inserts. So it makes it even more difficult. Milan Lucic. Evgeny Kuznetsov, Ryan Reeves, Kyle Connor. We got a Young Guns of Brandon Crawley. Since it's an insert and it's a rookie, I will put it in the sleeve, but I don't know that it necessarily deserves one. That really did not want to go in the sleeve for me. Ryan Graves, Drake Batherson, and Tyler Johnson. Do you have a box for all these? It's a big box. A isn't it? Yeah. It won't fit in that small one. More than 300? Probably 400? Hmm. I don't think it's that many. But Jacob Vrana, Adam Gaudette. This is fun. Connor... Heldboik, a Joel Kiviranta fluorescence. Kiviranta. Kiviranta, I'm being told. Fluorescence, not numbered, but it's a nice looking card. Sam Reinhardt, Dominic Kubelik, Pavel Bujnevich, and Rupe Heinz. Rupe Hintz. Rupe Hintz. Okay, at least it's not poopy hinds, which is what I thought initially. This is probably sometimes harder than soccer. Well, yeah. Okay. Mike Hoffman, Clayton Keller, Robbie Fabry, Jacob Slavin, Lukas Videmo, Young Guns, Dante Fabro, and Junis Corpusalo. Nope, there's one more stuck to that card. Nico Hishier. Hishier. He's going to correct me all day long. Nico Hishier. Hishier. I guess I have to start watching the Kings again. Yay! Then I will get these names right. How are we doing here? They could find a better team than the Maple Leafs to put on the cover. Well, it is what it is. Ryan Johansson, Cam Fowler, Justin Falk, Kevin LeBlanc. A rookie portraits of Joel Kiviranta. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Madison Bowie. Andre Burakovsky. And Frederick Anderson. You can call them whatever you want. You know, yeah. So tell me again who we're looking for. Um, Krill Kaprasov is your big hit. Kaprasov is who we want. And okay. Stutzel. Philip Chittle, Chittle, David Cheadle. Kresge, 
Nikita Kucherov, Marquee Rookies, Peyton Krebs, Jamie Benn, Vladimir Tarasenko, Vince Dunn, and Jonathan Quick. Yeah. Greatest goaltender for the Kings of all time. Hmm. Yeah. For a period. Oh. He beat every record and he has two cups. So. He does have the two cups. I will give you that. And he beat every record that a goaltender has. Pierre Edward Bellamar. Maybe not fan favorite. Andre Vasilevsky. Gustav Nyquist. Jamie Benn on the UD Canvas. A Liam Foudy Dazzlers. Jonathan Huberdeau. Auntie Ranta. And Valtteri Filbula. Translated to English, Kiwi Ranta means Stone Beach. Oscar Sunkist, Tyler Bozak, Ben Hutton, Jared McCann, a Gilles Sen, Young Guns, Jordan Stahl, Roman Josie, and Ryan Getzloff. Jonas Broden, Alex Chison, Travis Dermott, Ian Cole, Oliver Ekman Larson Dazzlers, Jaden Schwartz, Marcus Sorensen, and Capo Caco. Jeff Skinner, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Claude Giroux. Seems like something was stuck to that, but not. Keandre Miller, Young Guns. Just for the heck of it, I'm sleeving all the Young Guns, but I'm not sure if that's necessary. For Young Guns it is, because they're so rare. Chris Dreiger, Malcolm Subban, Derek Stepan, and Mario Ferraro. Mario Ferraro. Who's the last young gun? Keandre Miller from the Rangers. He might be a, a good save. Andreas Athanasau. I'm sure that's wrong. Jordan Greenway. That's not. Adam Pelich. Matthias Eckholm. Michael DiPietro on the UD Portraits. Victor Arvidsson. Zamingus, Gergensons, and Mackenzie Wegar. Going some random bonus card right there. Anthonisiu. Anthonisiu? Mm -hmm. He was a king last year. There's a nice easy name. Seth Jones. Jesper Bratt. Tyler Bertuzzi. Marquee Rookies. Vitek Vanacek, Joel Faraby, Niklas Holmerson, Jalmerson is probably more accurate, right. Anthony Bouville, and Chris Tierney. Matt Roy, Sidney Crosby, I know who he is, Nico Ratanen. Marcus Foligno, Alec Ragula, Marquis Rookies, Corey Perry, Adam Buquist, Buquist, and Jake Gardner. Buquist? You watch a lot of hockey? Me? Yeah. Huh? I know more about hockey than baseball. Ah. 
just not as popular. Right? Jake DeBrusque, Calvin DeHaan, Ben Shiro, something like that. Oscar Lindblom, marquee rookies of Stuart Skinner, Anthony Manta, Troy Terry, and Victor Mete. We are about two thirds of the way through this box now. I have not seen either of those two names you're telling me we're looking for, which I've already forgotten. Mark Andre Fleury, Johnny Goudreau, Carl Hagelin, Austin Matthews, Austin, wow. Robbie Ryan, Bobby Ryan, that's an award winner. Mikhail Sergachev, Zach Aston Reese, and Mackenzie Blackwood. Almost done with the pain here of me butchering these names. Almost. But not quite. Fun. It depends on your point of view. I'm not sure everybody thinks it's fun. Well, they have to know what the names are. Robin Leonard, which would probably be Robin Leonard, <laughs> Jake Muzzin, former king. Tucker Pullman, Michael McNevin on the Portraits Rookie, Tucker Pullman again. Is that twice in the same? That's the exact same card in the pack twice. Tucker Pullman. Brendan Lemieux, Dennis Gurianov, and Dustin Brown. Hey. Yeah, he's got to be getting up there in years. Tucker Pullman. Jordy Ben, Shea Theodore, Kale McCarr, Pius Sutter, Young Guns, Josh Bailey, Vadislav Gavrikov, Ryan Zingle, and Paul Byron. Guess what Ratnan is in English? It would be just an absolute guess. Are you guys going to be at the National? No, I don't think that anybody from here is going to the National, but I could be mistaken. I'm certainly not. Radic Faxa, Michael Amadio, Travis Zajac, P.K. Subban on the UD Canvas, Patrick Lane, Cody Glass, Mark Giordano, and Michael Kempney. So tell us, don't keep us in suspense here, Herman. What is Rantanen in English? Pierre Luc Dubois, Sebastian Ajo, Joel Armia, Adam Enrique, Marquis Rookie um, of Thomas Harley, Ilya Mikheyev, Max Pacioretty, and Jason Spezza. Ranta equals beach. So Rantanen means what beach? Henry Yokoharju, <laughs> Jack Hughes, Ryan, Brian Rust, Anton Kudabin, marquee rookies of Igor Zamula, Jack Roslavich, Alexander Edler, and Niklas Backstrom. Three more. And then the pain and misery and assault on your ears will come to an, ex to an end. Brendan Smith, Anthony Sorelli, Victor Olofsson, Emil Larmy on the marquee rookie, Sean Curley, 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 who knows, Patrick Maroon, Simple, and I'm going to probably butcher it anyway, Nick Paul, and Jake Vertanen. Two more to go. Remind me again, who are we looking for in these two? Krill, Kaprasov, and Nick Stutzel. Stutzel and Kaprasov. 
Stutzel and Kaprasov. You're throwing me off with these first names. They should just be treated like Brazilian soccer players. Patrick Kane, Ryan Pulak, Miro Heiskinen, Jake Odinger on the UD portraits, Derek Ryan, Mark Manchapani, Richard Panic, and Chandler Stevenson. Chandler Stevenson. That's another guy who should be paling, playing like polo with the horses or croquet or something. Andre Palat, Jakub Voracek, Pekka Rene, Chris Creedler, Alec Regula was the final young gun in the box. Alec Regula, he is a Blackhawk fan, but I don't think that that's going to do too much for him. Andrew Kopp, Tom Wilson, and Elias Peterson to end that box. We'll take a very quick look at his young guns. Alex Regula, Pia Suter, Keandre Miller, Gilles, and Lukas Vademo, and Brandon Crawley. Those are his young guns, and that is his box. And I hope there's something in there worth something, but I'm going to go off my very limited knowledge and say maybe not what you were looking for. But it was fun. Mika Ratnan has a sister who plays soccer. Okay. All right, where are we? Do we have anything in the lineup? Oh, so we do have four more people who have gotten into the that the Gypsy Queen case break. So what's our number now? Right now, we are at one, two. I'm trying to remember how to fix that. Um, oh, I know. I remember. We have 22 spots in the Gypsy Queen, down from 27. And we're still at 21 in the basketball mixer. Okay, so we are at a lull. We've hit our first break in the action, not break break, but break in the action. So um, let's talk about what we have available for you guys tonight. It's yeah, we have our discount codes. They're right there. Put them right there. Gypsy, Museum, Archives, Luminance, Icons, UEFA Finest. All of those come with a discount code. You can also get 5% back in Team Rewards. Um, again, a very good program. Alan and Ginter now says August 11th. I'll believe it when I see it. Because uh, it keeps getting kicked and kicked and kicked. So um, those are... The, New items on this side that we have for you. Clearly Authentic. Take a look at that new price. Clearly Authentic's down to $85 for the box. $84.99. You want to save that penny. Um, so take a look at that. We have Clearly Donruss Basketball. And I think that just broke. Um, what is Clearly Authentic? The baseball product has a... Oh, it is Clearly Authentic. <laughs> clearly Authentic Baseball. Why did I think it was called something else? Gypsy Queen uh, Museum Collection Baseball. Archives Signature Series Retired. Uh, for those of you who have been a, a fan of the stream for quite a while, long before I got involved, you could say that Hall of Fame Baseball was the home of the one of one when it came to Signature Series. Um, so love to see if we could hit some one of ones for anybody else. My prized one of one, I talk about it often. I have a one of one Hank Aaron um, signature series out of the 2017 issue. Um, so it is one of those cards that's nestled firmly in my collection where it's likely to stay I for didn't quite get a that. time. Could you try? <laughs> wow. Siri on the watch decided that I was talking to her, which was not the case. 
And apparently she doesn't understand card speak. So, um, while we are waiting for people to get in on the rip, Aaron Rodgers is coming back to the Packers. It's confirmed. And where did you hear it confirmed? Because everybody that was holding on to those Jordan Love cards are going to be a little bit disappointed, at least for another year, if he truly is coming back. But I thought that was a bridge that could not be mended. All right. Anybody do anything fun or exciting this past weekend that we can talk about while we wait for people to jump in and get cards ripped? Otherwise... You guys don't want to hear it. I'm going to start talking about badminton again. I'm going to watch the the viewership drop because, you know, it is Olympics time. I watch some boxing on the Olympics. It's the only time I really watch boxing anymore. Um, you'd like to think that it was a little more on the up and up than some of the scores you see typically in boxing. But um, there have been some famous highway robberies when it comes to Olympic boxing as well. Um, I did watch... Someone this morning, he's probably the best hope for the U.S. for a, um, a gold medal, had been kicked off the team and then re returned to the team. And it looked like he beat the, I'll use an old person term, that he beat his opponent pillar to post, and I think they gave him a split decision win. So I'm not ready, ready to say that the funky business in Olympic boxing is gone based on that result, but at least the, the right person won. Um you know, I watched some of the women boxing. That's interesting. Um, just because my experience has been they seem to be a little bit more willing to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe in the middle of the ring and go at it. Pickleball should not be in the Olympics. Not yet, anyway. Maybe in the Senior Olympics, like the Super Senior Olympics. Um, I've actually never seen pickleball played, but in Arcadia at the public park here, they actually have lawn, lawn bowling, which is for the geriatric set, and it never gets used anymore. So maybe they could convert those. I hope that nobody else is into lawn bowling. I, I really don't understand what lawn bowling is all about. Don't really understand regular bowling either, but I do understand sitting inside listening to music and drinking. Um, which is pretty much all that bowling really is to me. And funky shirts. Um, and I'll never understand the funky shirts. Mm, don't get it. Wiffle ball. Now, if you've seen wiffle ball on YouTube stuff, that it is crazy what they do in wiffle ball. And it makes sense. It's the throw a strike. You're basically just throwing it into the net. Why did the Canadian softball team let leave the field? They didn't leave the field. People are trying to make a big deal about them leaving the field. They just stepped off the field so the umpires could decide what the ruling was. Ah. They didn't leave the field. There was zero demonstration other than come sit in the shade for a minute while these umpires figure out the rules of the game. And what was the rule they were trying to figure out? Whether what the was the pitcher could re-enter the game after the last inning or something. Ah. The Japanese coach said she couldn't, but the Canadian coach said, yeah, she could because of X, Y, Z. Ah, so what I hear is that there was just a misunderstanding as to the rules relating to the reinsertion of a pitcher and so they went to the shade rather than stay out on the field while the umpires tried to get their act together despite what they want to sell you on there was zero protest in that Stephen here is adamant there was no protest you know they're not protesting the fact that they're playing softball on a baseball field and it, you know it looks like one of those we saw it the other day during the All-Star break when the had the stars and you know retired players doing their little softball game. It looked the same, bases in the middle of the baseball field and it's just it was weird and it's odd, but apparently that was the only way they were getting softball and baseball back into the Olympics this year. So everybody has to live with it. Not knowing the rules, that's a different thing entirely and nobody should have to live with umpires who don't understand the damn rules. Situation. It was just they quick. They were quick to say yes. Japanese manager's right, and the main coach said, "Wait, wait, 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 wait. Listen to me." Ah. And he's very polite about it. So it was just a little bit of back and forth. How long was they were they off the field? Does anybody know? Like five minutes. 
Okay. Well, you know, that's not the worst thing we've seen at the Olympics. Maybe the U.S. team losing its opening game to the French. That was bad. The U.S. women's soccer getting manhandled, if you will, by Sweden in their opening game. Although they look like they're back on track. But there's been some interesting goings on at the Olympics so far. Interesting goings on. So, yeah. It's it's fun to watch for me. I, I flip the dial. Um, I have a variety of different things recorded. So, all right. Anybody want to get in some cards? Let's do some cards. Let's break some cards. I would love to break just about anything. Football. I'd like to see some more football. Got some nice hits out of that uh, Illusions for Tim M. Anybody else want to jump in on other football product and see what we can get? before we close the door on the 2020 products and start opening up on the uh, the 2021 product with all of the draftees in their professional uniforms. I'm personally waiting to see a little bit more of that. Although seeing a lot of sick Trevor Lawrence cards out there now. Um, so I can't wait to actually dive in on the football when we have the opportunity to get them in their professional uniforms. I'm not even sure which is going to be the first issue that has it, but each time a new product drops, I take a quick look-see to see if it if that's happened, and when it does, I'm in. I'm all in. But in the interim, let's go looking for Justin Herbert. Let's go looking for um, Burroughs. Let's go looking for Jordan Love. Let's go looking for, well, even though he's now out for the year, Cam Akers on my side. Let's go looking for Jerry Judy. Let's go look for Justin Jefferson. Love to see people buy in on some football cards. Um, anybody with a little bit of uh, extra cash in their pocket? We do have some 2019 baseball that's up here. Love to go searching for some... Tatis or Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookies. I don't think we have any 2018. Looks like you're going to be searching the wheel for Albert again. Ah. Albert, we are back in the wheel. Is that what I understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a spin. One spin or? One spin. One spin only. Ready to spin. Two. Paraphrase a line from R Hunt for Red October. Verify our range to target. One ping only. One spin only. One ping. So you got it all ready to go? Ready for you. All right. Follow me, follow me, follow me, please, to the wheel. Oh, wonder for Albert's spin. We'll do a little wheel maintenance so nothing goes flying off. And away we go. Oh, hello. Another UEFA Five. finest pack. Two. UEFA. If you were not a soccer collector before, you're getting there now. Let's see if we can get something sassy out of these two packs. Can't get enough of the wheel, Albert says. Can you get enough of Lucina Triori rookie card? Jamal Musala rookie card? Joseph Ilicic? We got a Riyad Mahrez refractor, and you got a finest footwork, Christian Pulisic. That's pack number one of two on Top's Finest. Let's, let's see if we can do a little bit better here. There is a you can do it. footwork card in there. We have Antoine Griezmann, Tyler Adams, Adelon Cosano, rookie card, Eric Garcia, rookie card, 
and the prized football, prized footballers, Eduardo Camavinga. So those are your two packs. Don't think we hit any of the big rookies, but we did get a couple of nice rookies in there. A nice refractor. You got a Pulisic. So there is some stuff in that pack. Hope you enjoy those cards. If you are a soccer fan or collector, great. If not, now's the time to get started. All right. Anybody else want to give their get their hands on a wheel? Love to do that. Anybody else want the wheel? Or anything else? You don't collect soccer. Well, there's lots of people that do if you um, are a member of the Hall of Fame or HOFBC trading group on Facebook. You can unload some of those soccer cards, potentially. That's my biggest fear of the wheel, and it's the best thing of the wheel, is that we end up getting things that we don't normally get, and then I end up buying into the product over and over and over again. Um, but it typically works out. So, Wheels in the fire. Well, maybe, just maybe, you decide to get a box of the UEFA Finest, and lo and behold, you pull another one of one. Now I have to do another. Yeah, well, it's not like we planned it that way, but if you must, you must. The U.S. rugby team have two of their games against Kenya and Ireland. Herman, I don't know much about rugby. Um, is it sevens or is it full rugby? And this is the Olympics, I assume we're talking about. I started watching it a little while ago. I watched a Saturday. Um, and my wife walked into the room and goes, what in the hell are you watching? What in the world? And I said, rugby. And she said, not another sport. They have rugby cards? I don't think they have rugby cards yet, but I'm sure they will. They do somewhere. Hey, look, in the chat, posted right now, discount codes for museum collection and archives. Um, and we have several others. Luminance, that $25 off. Diamond icons. Who is going to jump in on that product? Who is going to take a, a splash in the diamond icons pool? I would love to rip that product. We've been selling on a break for a couple of weeks now. Not getting a whole lot of bites on that one either. Um, but... I think when you, if you did bite in on that, and others would then follow, you'll end up hitting some real, real banger of bangers of cards that um, you probably really like and make your money back. But you know, I, I understand why it's a little difficult to go for a product that costs twenty eight hundred dollars out the door, um, and that's what um, that's the going rate for some of these very high end cards. It is a far cry from the twenty five cents a pack I used to pay after riding my bike. Um, up to 7-Eleven in the 70s, late 70s, early 80s. Somebody hit the uh, Gypsy Queen Mike Trout captain's autograph. Yeah. And it's got uh, an hour left at $305. Wow. On the, that's it, 305 On the captain, how many of them are there? Bits. Numbered. Not numbered. I have collected a lot of cards in my life. I have opened up lots of packs. I have probably received, you know, myself opened packs. It's got to be over 500 individual autos over time, maybe more. And I have not once pulled a Mike Trout autograph. Today's the day. Yeah, I, I haven't. I haven't done it for anybody in a break, and I certainly haven't done it for myself, and it's not for lack of looking. Um, I have a lot of his, well, not a lot. I have several rookie cards of his. None of them are in great shape. They're not in bad shape, but they've probably grayed out in the in eights, maybe a nine, which is probably not a bad thing to do. One of them is in perfect condition, but for a single, solitary, very small scratch that kills the whole deal. Um, and so 
I really haven't sent any of those to grade. I don't send a whole lot of cards to grade. It's not really my thing. Uh, but I know that a lot of people do. And it certainly is the way to get top dollar if you are in the business of selling uh, your cards, which for the most part, I am not. Grade when you want to sell. All right, do we got anybody in the store? Anybody taking a look-see? Oh, it says maybe. I'm going to go with maybe. The dreaded maybe. Let's see what's on the last page of the breaks. Last page. Page 10. What do we have? A 2020... Tops Star Wars Holocron personal break. A 2020 Panini Contenders football personal break. And a 2019 Tops Finest Hobby personal break. There's that 2019 baseball we were talking about. What else is here near the end? Panini Optic Hobby Baseball 2019. Tops Chrome Jumbo 2019. Now that's that would be fun to open up. Love to open that up, but that's that's a bit steep. Actually, everything on the last two pages, Whoops. I just updated the prices on. So lots of good stuff there. Oh, so the prices have changed on the last couple of pages. Take a look, see. I'm working in reverse order. And see if uh, anything see if floats it's... your boat, so they say, on the last couple of pages. Um, he is a chase rookie, da -da -da. Um, top defensive player, and, and probably gets more love be, um, than most other defenders. Not worth grading. Um, he not not a base card. I wouldn't grade it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I go down that road. All right, folks. Well, we've got nothing in the lineup. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to take a look-see at what we have available for you on the personal breaks page at hofbc.com. We've got some discount codes that we've dropped in the chat. Take a look. And I will be returning shortly when we have some cards to rip for you.
Well, folks, we still have nothing in the lineup. Um, so what can we do to entice you in? Because that's why we're here, to break cards for you guys. We've posted uh, in the chat some more codes. Um, so we have the, the Gypsy Museum Archives Luminous Icons and UEFA, not UEFA, UEFA finest codes um, for discounts. Everything is ripped and then shipped to you. Shipping is gratis. You get 5% back as well um, on all your purchases as long as, you're, as a, you are a Team Rewards member, which is easy to do, and I recommend you get that done um, before you... Uh, you know, before you buy, because that way, over time, you find out you may have several hundred dollars sitting there just waiting to be used on stuff that we can rip. We got the wheel spins. Would love to spin the wheel for a couple of people, see what we can do for you there. We have our mixer, basketball mixer, 21 spots now. The Gypsy Queen half case break. If you had looked at that before and uh, thought, eh, it's a little too steep for me, take a look again. We got new pricing on that, um, and it is a bargain, as they say. Our cap, the half case break is now twenty seven ninety nine, um, down almost ten dollars, twelve dollars from its its uh, top price, but now it's twenty seven ninety nine. So if you are a fan of Gypsy Queen, get in on some of that. The mixer, uh, basketball mixer, we got spots available there. $39.99. Remember, Tuesday nights are uh, Steve. Steven sits here and rips, and that's we'd like to do uh, mixers and, and group breaks and the like on Tuesday night. So if you're interested in either the basketball mixer or the Gypsy Queen half break, get that stuff done tonight, and we'll be able to rip it for you tomorrow. Please, rip it, rip it, rip it. He says rip it, rip it good. da 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 um, We have... A couple, a new basketball product that dropped recently. Clearly authentic basketball. Or, no, clearly Donruss basketball. We had the clearly authentic baseball that dropped last week. But I believe that the Donruss clearly basketball product just dropped in the last couple of days. Um, I could be mistaken, but I think it's a new product. So that prize wheel spin, lots of stuff on there, good stuff. Select baseball, Gypsy Queen, UEFA Finest. Chase that Signature Series Retired Player Edition. We hit somebody for that when I was here last Monday. You'll also get a spot in the Basketball Mixer. Um, Top's Finest Baseball, Top Series 2 Jumbo, a couple packs of that. So if you guys uh, are interested in taking your chance at the Wonder Wheel, give that a go. The Wheel of Wonder. Let's see where we are. But if we're not getting anywhere relatively soon, it is very early. But, um, you know, at I'm going to put a long window on this. But by 6 o'clock, if we don't have anybody else in there, that's 20 minutes, 23 minutes from now. We will be shutting it down for the evening. Um, and uh, then I will see you next week. We got a full week of breaks scheduled. As I said, Stephen will be here tomorrow. I believe Card Shop Matt will be here on Wednesday. Then we've got the kid, Chris, on Thursday. Again, if I'm not mistaken. And then Friday, it's a, it's a grab bag. It could be anybody. And then Saturday is definitely Hot Hands Fletcher again. Um, I saw he was here this last Saturday. Hope he got some fire for you if you were watching that. I would love to pull some saucy cards for you. All I need you to do is to... Go to hofbc.com, go to the personal breaks page, find the product you want ripped, buy it, and then I will rip it, and Stephen and staff will ship it, and then hopefully be something really nice in there for you. But as they say, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So take a shot. Take a shot at the wheel, take a shot at uh, you know, any of the product we have available. Well, I will tell you again, I 
um, until we see any kind of movement or action of any kind, let's go. I am going to, I'll give you a second and step away. Albert, try it again, um, Stephen says, if you are still interested in that wonder wheel, we'll get it going for you. Anybody else interested, get that wheel spin going. Occasionally, while I'm sitting here, I get actual work emails from my job, the job I actually get paid to do, which is not this. This is what I do for fun. Um, but occasionally, the day job does call, and then I have to go deal with that. But uh, right now, the last email was work-related, but it can wait, because I'd rather open cards than deal with work emails. And all I need is some cards for you guys to rip. Am I enticing anyone with anything, any way to get you guys